Yes, it's the same missing person from before, but this time it's real. I know because I faked the first kidnapping. My information? The police aren't gonna help us. What we need are the two best detectives in the world. But the two best detectives broke up because one of them lied and ruined everything. And I don't know if we can ever get that trust back. What if I promise never to lie to you again? Yay! Let's solve this case! I think I just did. Footprints from a woman's high-heeled shoes. They're probably your mom's. Does my mom wear two different size shoes? I don't know, Steve. I'm not obsessed with your mom like you are. Hey, Legman, why do mystery writers look so well-rested? I don't know. Maybe because they're always kidnapping? We're fun, huh, Patterson? What are you implying? We're not implying. We're im-saying. You kidnapped F.R. Ancine. That's absurd. Is it? Who won the award when she didn't show up? Who was overheard threatening her? I never... This hotel can be treacherous? Sounds like a threat to me. Oh, God, no. To get to the ballroom, you have to take the north elevator to the lower lobby and then take the escalator back to the upper mezzanine and walk down a flight of stairs. It's very treacherous. You mean confusing? Perhaps my word choice was a little treacherous. So I suppose you can account for your whereabouts earlier tonight. I was being intimate with Daniel. It's true. I put that ass to sleep. But if it's not you... Run, people! Robert Wool is a maniac! Only Robert Wall decides when an evening with Robert Wall ends. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like we have a celebrity guest star. So? So, according to Murder, She Wrote, the celebrity guest is always the one who done it. You just ruined every Murder, She Wrote I haven't seen. <sighs> let's, let's get him, I guess. Mr. Wool, I'm a big fan. Oh, why, thank you. It's always nice to... Wait a minute. Big fan? That doesn't sound right. You like picking on girls, huh? Makes you feel like a tough guy? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm talking about Kung Fu Panda. Hiya! <laughs> Wheels, I need help! I got you, partner! What the hell's wrong with you guys? You kidnapped my mom! Are you crazy? I've been hanging out with good friends all night, and now they slip through my fingers but I'll hunt them down. Don't you worry about Arliss. What's Arliss? Who knows, but that's not our guy. He's not wearing high-heeled shoes. Right, we were looking for a woman. Ah, <sighs> that was the one thing we knew. And it wouldn't be our lowest moment if Patterson wasn't here to see it. Pathetic. Hmm. Son of a bitch! It was Patterson the whole time! Or at least in the end. We gotta stop him! Legman, you're still in that bowling league, right? Throw me! You know I stick my fingers in the holes pretty deep. Just get me there. You missed! Wow, six spin! Oh. You're safe! Oh, thank God you found me! This monster kidnapped me and was making me write a book for him! Here's the first chapter. It's pretty much what we talked about. I made a couple changes. Just... just be gentle. Why would you need her to write a book? I'm trying to get into the young adult market, but I just can't make my exquisite writing that simple. Francine is naturally banal. Thank you. How about this weather we're having? See, that's the magic I'm trying to capture. Uh, one more question. Why the high heels? Confidence. Sorry, one more question. They give you confidence, or you have enough confidence to wear them? Doesn't matter, because I'm confident he's going away for a long time, thanks to Wheels and the Leg Man. All right, let's go, Patterson. He's cardboard again. Skids and the walking guy? Patterson stole our characters! Soon to be a major motion picture? He stole our idea to make it into a movie! Says here it's gonna be a Redbox exclusive! He stole our distribution model! 